Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing, great day, whatever you're doing while you're watching this video. So this is gonna be a quick video, just doing a review on the latest flat iron that I got. Um, I got the Red Pro uh, Titanium 460 flat iron. This is the empty box right here. So what happened was, my old flat iron at work finally died on me, which was another Red Pro. I never did a review on that one, my bad. But this is like the upgraded model, so this is a better review for you guys. But, um, I know, Connor. I know. Take a nap. It's okay. It's my dog. Love him. Um, it's kind of late while I'm recording, so I know he is tired, but he wants to be out, but he needs to go to sleep. All right, so what happened was my old flat iron died and I needed to just get a new one. So I got this one. I was going to like order one online and all of that. and But then I just decided, you know what, let me just get this one in the meantime and I'll figure out like another brand that I want to try later on. So that's how I just ended up getting this one. Um instead of like going out and getting another one so okay the red pro now there's red and then there's red pro red the red series the regular red series is just like a little cheaper they're probably in the 20 30 dollar range and um i think it's all ceramic flat irons they're okay they're cool yeah whatever um this red pro is a little bit more um i actually paid 50 dollars for it you can see it Let's see. Right there. See that sticker? $50. I paid $50 for it at my local beauty supply store. And this is the flat iron. This is the Red Pro. Oh, Red Pro Titanium Flat Iron. Now, um, this flat iron is a half an inch. And I especially like these half inch flat irons. Like I know some people may use the short flat iron like it's about this long. I like these because I have more control instead of just the little flat iron that, you know, you just got that much control of it. So that's why I always tend to get these longer flat irons versus a shorter one. It's the same size, it's just longer. And then, let's see, let's talk about the details with the flat iron and why I chose to do it and why I like it, why I chose to buy it. Okay, so number one, um, the temperature gauge. It is very important, whatever flat iron you buy, for you to have a temperature gauge on your flat iron so you can control the heat setting. This goes from 250 to 460. So this flat iron gets really hot. Now, if you just had an on and off switch flat iron, then it, and it goes to 460, you have no type of control. So I always encourage everyone to get a flat iron that has a temperature gauge. This one is like a dial right there, and you just twist it to whatever temperature setting that you want. Um, now, I usually keep this flat iron between 350 and 400. To me, this flat iron gets really, really hot, so I haven't had any clients that I've had to go to 460 with, especially with you having a relaxer, you shouldn't really need to go to 460. Um, I do use this uh, flat iron on some of my clients, like let's say their edges or whatever to straighten it out, or small corners, like if they're doing a silk press, but I still would not go all the way up to 460. Now, of course, the next thing is the on and off switch. This is on, you can see it has the red button here. When it gets to the temperature, which it heats up really quick, it goes from red to green. Um, so yeah, this, I want to say it gets hot in about, yeah, it says ready in less than 18 seconds. So right now it's hot. It is, it's very hot. <laughs> so, um, then of course the next thing is the titanium plate. 
Um, you know, I know a lot of people ask what's the difference between ceramic, titanium, all that type of stuff. It is, of course, the material. Um, I like titanium plates because they're very smooth. They slip, the hair slips through it really easy. Ceramic, eh, it's cool. But then I feel like ceramic, depending on the brand, could, I'm like, is it real ceramic or is it ceramic coated? And sometimes it could be a little cheap. It, like, everything is labeled ceramic nowadays and sometimes it's really not. So, you know, especially when it's like super cheap, you like, mm, is that really ceramic? I don't believe you. So, um, let's see what else. Um, this flat iron has an auto shut off feature. So if it's on for too long, it will cut off on you. So if let's say you forget this plugged in and you go to work, yeah, it's going to shut off. You're going to be all right. Your house is going to be okay. Um, I do like it because especially at work, like sometimes I'll just put the flat iron down and I'm doing other things, shampooing a client or whatever. And I forget that the flat iron is on but it automatically shuts off, so I'm good. So I'll just turn the on and off switch back, you know, just turn it off and then turn it on, and it'll just, you know, heat back up. So, yeah. Um, Let's see, what else, what else, what else? I think that's it. Oh, it comes with a two-year warranty, so make sure and hold on to your warranty and turn it in. If you have any issues, you can just get this replaced. Um... That's about it. Like, it's just a really good flat iron. Like, Red Pro does, it has really, it's a really good brand. Um, I know some more expensive brands. I don't know why, but they started discontinuing their flat irons that look like this. And that really bothered me because I'm like, we use these half inch flat irons that, you know, are long like this. Like, I need, I, I prefer this one versus the one that's like really, really short. So, like I said, I like the Red Pro. Um, if you want to invest in a really good flat iron, $50 is not a lot. I got it from my local beauty supply store. Don't knock the local beauty supply stores. They got some good stuff. So, I got it from my local beauty supply store, but I will put a link in the description box below so you can find it online. Like I said, this is the Red Pro Titanium 460 flat iron in the half inch. If you have short hair, you need this in your arsenal. You can do bumps, you can do curls, you can do a lot of stuff with a half inch flat iron. This is what I use, this is what I like, and this is what works for me. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this quick review. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.